I always have this question as a YouTuber or influencer. If a company sends you a product for review, does it mean they sponsor this video? Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving big brother, Tom Choo Choo. I know I have been lagging on updating videos because I got busy with work. I mean, if you have followed me on Instagram, I recently just got myself certified as a COVID compliance officer. It's a new position that requires for film set during this pandemic. And this person is not a production assistant. I repeat, it's not a PA. The position needs you to be on top of everyone's hygiene and follow latest COVID news. And if you are a PA and yelled at your crew to be six feet apart, who would listen, right? So this is not a PA. Well, this has nothing to do with my keto rash, but it's just a little update about what I have been doing. And after all, this is a vlog. And if you like my randomness, please click on that subscribe button so I can move on with my story. Choo choo! Remember last time I say my keto rush has gotten better because I started to reduce my fat intake? Huh? Well, turns out my rush is back again. What? Actually, I take it back. I mean, it starts to spread around my butt crack area and even spreading around my inner thighs too. I know you're probably thinking something else, but it's not what you're thinking. So take your mind out of the gutter. Uh, this time, I suspect the Los Angeles heat wave could be the reason of my rash inflammation. Because I have been extra careful about my eating habits and intermittent fasting. So if it was healing okay until the heat waves come, I'm pretty sure this probably caused by the factors of heat, sweat, and no money to pay my AC. Anyways, i like to show you my butt crack and my inner thighs, but I don't think YouTube like that. So I'll cut that out and jump to the possible cure of the keto rash. Choo choo! Let me refresh your memories of my crazy keto rash on my head. If you have not seen it, hit the like button and I'll link the video up and below so you can check that out. So I remember back then, Saizana had contacted me to try out their black seed rub. With my condition at that time, well, and the unknown of the rash, of course. I did not try out the rub because I went to the doctor and got an antibiotic shot instead. But in the back of my head, I knew one day I would come back to this keto diet. And one day I would probably get the keto rash again. And what do you know? I got the rash again. So this time, I decided to give a try with Saizena's Black Sea Rub. And... Here's my honest opinion. Like I said, I'm not paid to give this honest review and this is purely my own observation of my own skin. But after trying all this type of keto rash cure and keto rash remedies, I thought um, Saizana really calms down my itchiness and uh, does it make my keto rash go away? Mm, no. but. Keto rash normally will go away by itself if you wait long enough. So if my butt crack doesn't itch for the right reason, it's perfect. Now, this is a perfect cream for me, especially I usually take shower before bed and it dries up pretty quickly with this cooling, calming, minty effect. So it definitely makes you feeling refreshing. And in this case, my butt crack feels minty fresh before bed, pretty much. Aww. So if you have tried everything but the keto rash just wouldn't go away, maybe try this. I mean, at least it'll ease your itchiness so you can sleep much better at night with speedy recovery. Okay, let's do my keto weight loss journey update. Choo choo! Last time I was at 192 pounds and this week I'm at 191 pounds. Well, actually I'm kind of jumping between 190 and 191, but definitely a drop from my previous weight, at least one pound, okay? 
So kudos to me. Oh, and just a thought. If I reach to 190 pounds, I'll definitely do a shirtless weight loss update since I haven't done it for a while. And you maybe see some difference or maybe there isn't any difference. So what's next? I'll keep monitoring my keto rash, of course. I think it's coming down with this Cyzena Black Sea Rub, but not only the actual cause of this keto rash is really pain in the butt, literally. And we will see if I can drop below 185 pounds below this year end. Anyway, thank you for watching. As always, I got a question for you. What do you want to see my video on this keto journey next? Leave comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next update of my keto weight loss journey. For now, peace. Well, since I can't really show you my keto rash on my inner thighs and my butt crack, here's a little bit of keto rash that kind of grow on my ear and it was so itchy that I start scratching them. I don't know if you can see it. It got so red and then now it's kind of scaly. Yeah, um, it's not that itchy anymore because I put the rub, but... I hope it doesn't spread to my whole ear. We'll see.